everyone and welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I thought it would be a great idea to do a comparison video. I thought it would be great to compare the Demi brush with finger coiling to see which one it gives you the more uh, curl definition and you know just make your curls look great you know as you guys know like about a month ago it was my first time trying the Demi brush uh, method and I absolutely loved it prior to that before using the Demi brush for curl definition I, I, I only used to finger curl coil my hair now I thought hmm I wonder which one gives you the best curl definition. So I thought, let's go ahead and try it. I'm also gonna be comparing not just like which one gives you the best curl definition, but also like time-wise, which one is less time consuming, which one's easier to do and all of that stuff. So let's get to it. But before I get started, if you're not subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button and subscribe to my channel. So yeah. All right, so the products that I'm going to be using are, for the leave-in, I'm going to be using a Kentu Avocado Hydrating Leave-In Conditioner. I actually did a review on this line, so if you want to check that out, make sure you, I'm going to go ahead and link it so you can click it and watch it. For styling product, I'm going to be using Shea Moisture Curl Enhancing Smoothie. I love this product. And also by Shea Moisture, I'm going to be using this Make It Last Wash and Go Define Gel Oil. Look like this. So first, I'm going to go ahead and apply my leave-in. Okay, so whenever I'm styling my hair, I like to apply a little bit of my styling product. I apply some to the entire like section, and then I keep applying as I go. Like, I, like you guys are gonna see what I'm talking about. I feel like I should start with finger coiling, just because I feel like that's gonna take a little longer. Like, to be honest, like before I even like start comparison, I feel like I kind of know that finger coiling is gonna take a longer, just because you're going like curl by curl so I think I should start with that for finger coiling and even for demi brush you want to start with like small sections you don't want you don't want to finger coil like big chunks of hair all right so this is what I meant by I apply more styling product as I go so I already have a little section right here and then I apply more as I go so as I'm finger coiling and you want to make sure that your finger coiling the way of your curl so you're like your curl pattern you want to make sure that you're being like really gentle like if you're twirling it and then you feel like your hair is getting stuck around the finger while when you pull it's not like being smooth then you're doing it wrong because i'm gonna show you guys look oh i'm supposed to be timing myself i'm gonna say two o'clock i started finger coiling just because that section probably took me about like two minutes or three minutes so i'm gonna start timing myself okay like twist I twist twice and so it won't get stuck in that finger when I pull, I switch to the middle finger and then I twist again and then I go back. So you see I twist and then I switch to the middle finger and then I twist that and then I pull. You see? Okay, last section and so far right now is 209. So it's about nine minutes so far. So this whole section is finger coiled. It's 2.11. So that took about like 11 minutes to do just one section. Okay, so now I'm gonna start with the other section. Okay, so right now it is 2.12. So I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start at the bottom and work my, my way up. And as I go up, I'm going to be applying some hair product. I brush, shake, and scrunch. Okay, all done. So before I start talking, let me see the time. It is 2.19, so that took about six to seven minutes. Okay, so I'm gonna take a little bit of the defining gel, like this, and with that, I'm going to quench my hair up. So now, all I have to do is sit and wait for my hair to completely dry. Then I'm going to jump back in the camera and show you guys the results and my thoughts and all of that. So yeah, I'll be right back. Alright, so I am back. My hair is completely dry. So this is how it looks before I pull them apart and start messing with it. I am going to start pulling the curls apart and see the end results. All 
Alright, so I actually like both of the sides. So, but this is what I have to say about both of them. This side is more time consuming. So, fair coiling does take a little bit more time but hey good things take time right but i do have to say i do like the curl definition i feel like every single curl is nicely defined as to this side it looks more it is curled it is defined however it does look more um like not as uniformed what i do like about the demon brush is that it's a fast way to kind of like define your curls basically so it doesn't take as long as finger curling your hair unlike the finger curling side since you're going curl by curl finger coiling your hair i feel like this side there are some parts that are not as curled as some other curls uh, there are some parts that are more wavy than the other like especially towards the back i don't know if you guys can see it but i still like the finishing results i really like how my hair looks to wrap things up i do like each side let me know down in the comments which side was your favorite like which one do you feel like looks the best i feel like this side looks more natural but this side is like so defined and nice each curl is just nice and let me know also in the comments what do you do how do you style your hair do you just crunch it up do you finger curl it do you use the demon brush or you just put the product and go out the door all right guys so that is it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did make sure you support my channel by liking this video and also subscribing to my channel if you're not already and see you guys in my next video bye